Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Cookie. I think it's super adorable. I've already actually made several of them, although I told myself it's because I'm just tweaking things, but really it's just because I think that they're super cute. So, lots of them and another white one, because white and rainbow is awesome. So what also makes this totally awesome, besides being adorable, is the fact that um, for the white bands it's 174, so it's not that many. And then for the um, sprinkles, it's about 18 of them. Kind of depends on how many you get on the loom as you're going along. And then either the um, wrap bands for the eyes or beads. I use 7 millimeter pony beads, but you could probably use the 9 millimeter ones on this one because it's a wider design. And then your cheek bands. So it's not band heavy either, which is awesome. And it's super adorable and cute. And I love the shape. It's awesome. So cute. So first we'll talk about the eyes, cheeks, and the sprinkles. So... You can either use a band for the eyes or a bead. If you're going to use a band for the eye, it's whatever color you want the eye to be. Put that band on your hook, wrap it around once into that figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them around again. And then pull through two bands the color of your cookie. Like that, so you'd want two of those. Or if you're going to use the beads, um, with the larger pony beads, you can just probably thread them through the center, but with the smaller ones, you want a piece of craft wire, string, thread, floss, anything you can get into a V-shape to put two bands down into the inside. Close it up, and then thread your bead through, like that. And then you'd want two of these as well, if you do the beads. And then for the cheeks, it's the same, made the same way as the eye. So it's one band, whatever color you want the cheeks to be, on your hook, wrapped into the figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands the color of your cookie. So you want two cheeks. And then again, sprinkles are made the same way. Just whatever color you want your sprinkle to be, or chocolate chip in my case. It'd be one band on the hook, wrapped around once into the figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands the color of your cookie. And like I said, I made about 18 of them. Sometimes I have like three left and sometimes I have one left, or, or I use them all. just kind of depends. So, like that. Then we need our loom, one loom. I have the wrong end facing towards me. And we're going to start, you want your cookie color. I'm going to make mint chocolate chip cookies this time. That sounds delicious. Get that over there. So I'm gonna start at the sixth pin up. Um, somebody asked me to start doing that if I can remember because they worried that I ex will expand farther than they will have room for, but about the sixth pin up, take a band, stretch it all the way across, and then two more bands, sorry, these are two bands, not a band, two bands right over the top of that into an X. And do the same thing right above that, two bands, starting here across, and two more bands across. So two little X's, two bands, cap band, wrap once, two bands, cap band, wrapped one time, like that. So then take your hook and we're going to go in through the cap band we put on and we'll start on the side that has the band underneath, so going through there. Grab those two bands, pull them up through. Probably have to hang on to your cap band and pull them way across back towards themselves. And then do the same thing on the other side, going through the cap bands, grab the bottom two bands, pull them up, and stretch all the way back. And the same thing, we'll start on this side because this is the bottom band. Grab those two bands. Pull them through and cross, and then the other side.
So like that. Uh, we start at the top of the cookie and go down. Um, I haven't been putting any sprinkles on this or chocolate chips on the sides of the cookie, uh, but you certainly could because they don't necessarily stop right at the very top. So, but I'm going to put all my chocolate chips and sprinkles on this side. This point right here will be the sides of the cookie, and then this will be the back side. So, as you do it, just got to give you an idea so you know where to put things. So I'm going to do a roll around this. Everything will be double banded unless I say differently. So two bands right here. We can start adding on our sprinkles or chocolate chips or even raisins, I suppose. I don't mind raisins, but it's really evil when somebody makes cookies and they don't tell you it's raisins and you think it's chocolate chips very disappointing to the palate. So like that. Then we'll go around and flip the bottom four all the way around. Like that. So now we're going to expand and we're going to expand all four of the pins on the ends. So it'll be, if you put your bands on exactly the same way as I did, then you can follow along with me. Otherwise, it's just we don't want any of the bands to actually cross over each other. So what I mean by that is this first one right here, the two bands that I want to pull up are right on top. So they're just going to come up. But over here, like this band, I don't want it to be crossed. So I'm actually going to have to pick up all four bands on this pin bring them all up one, and then bring back the top two bands to the pin that they were on. So you can see this band that comes around, it doesn't cross any other bands. And then down here, we're going to have to actually bring both the bands down a pin. So all of them down, grab the top two, bring them back. Same thing on the other side, all the way down. And grab the top two and bring them back. And again, this band that comes to these two pins doesn't cross over these bands. So then push those down. So we're going to do another row around with more of the chocolate chip sprinkles things. So I'm going to start here, two bands. I'm going to start adding in more deliciousness. And these I don't have to worry about really by getting them too close to each other because cookies are never perfect in appearance. Although maybe I'll skip one spot. And just go all the way around. I actually have to do a cookie exchange for the Boy Scouts this weekend. Like that. So the top two are going to have two bands to flip over. And then it'll be four bands in the middle and then two bands at the bottom. And it'll be the same thing on the other side. But so far we're up to, I believe, six dozen cookies that I have to make. Seven, because we're we have to make one to share with everybody while we're there. So that's not horrible yet, but we'll see how many more people keep signing up. So it's like that. And then we're going to do another row around. So again, two bands. And then just add in your sprinkles as you want. I keep calling them sprinkles, chocolate chips. Like 
that. So it'll be the bottom four all the way around. But my son has this, my oldest has this court of honor. It's where they get to rank up in scouts. It's kind of neat. Seems like it happens often, but which is good. Like that. So again, we're going to expand. Same thing, four pins, out a pin. So again, right here, I can just pick up the top two and bring them up. And then on the left side, I have to pick up all four bands, bring them up, and then bring the top two back. And then down at the bottom, be the same thing, all four bands, down a pin, and then bring the top two back. Same on the right side. Like that. So we'll do a row around. All the way around, add in your sprinkles where you want. Sprinkles! Um, our next row will be the eye row, if that makes a difference to any of you as far as where you're placing your um, chocolate chips and things. So the eyes will go here, so if you don't want anything right above them, I don't mind. I think we've had a busy week this week because my son had a band concert. He's got basketball games Tuesdays and Thursdays. Pretty much every week besides practices and it gets to be a lot to get to and maintain and the needs of the other children. So like that. So the top two will have the two bands to flip. The middle three will have the four bands. And the bottom two will have two. And it'll be the same thing on the other side. down. So this row is our eye row. So you want your eyes. We'll start down here with two bands. Another two. I think I'm using way more chocolate chips this go around than previously. And then our eyes will go in the next slots right here in the middle. So third one up. Both bands. And just keep going around with the two bands. So flip the bottom four all the way around.
Like so. So I'm going to kind of unstick some of these a little bit carefully. So I don't stretch any bands out too much. On the ends, I'm going to actually flip all the bands over the pin into the center because we are going to now reduce the ends. And how we're going to do that is on the end pins, you're going to go in through the top two bands, grab the bottom two, pull them up through, and then bring them back to the pin before. And you can take this off and then flip over the bottom two on this pin. And do the same thing down here. Go in through the top two, grab the bottom two, pull them up through, bring them back up to the pin before. And let this come off. And grab the bottom two and pull them up over the top. You don't have to worry too much about the little thing that hangs off because you can tuck them in or pull them tight later, but you can kind of fix it a little bit now, but then do the same thing on the other side. In through the top two, grab the bottom two bands, pull them up through, onto the pin, let this come off, and then flip over the bottom two on that pin. And same thing up here. In through the top two, grab the bottom two, bring them back, release that. That was my soda bottle that just popped. Flip over the bo bottom two. So now you should have four bands on all the pins all the way around. Push those down. So this is going to be our cheek row, so you'll want those. So they're going to go right below the eyes when we get there. So two bands. And the cheeks. more chocolate chips and just finish the row around like that so then flip the bottom four all the way around That looks like I still have some super glue on my fingers. We went to Legoland in the Mall of America last weekend. Good. One moment. Push those down. I'm going to kind of pull this up a little bit again. Get things unstuck. Now we'll put our mouth on to so whatever color you want for the mouth. Take that, put it on your hook, wrap it around once into that figure eight. And then right here in the front between the cheeks, you'll lift up these four bands that are in the center, pull them off the pin, slide down your mouth band, and then put the bands back onto the pin. So it looks like that. And then we'll do another row around the two bands and then your chocolate chips or sprinkles. And I really might have to make some more of these. Especially if I goof them up. 
But yes, we went to the Mall of America. It's in the Twin Cities. Minneapolis, St. Paul. Went to Legoland or Lego World or just the Lego store, I guess. Be the easiest way to explain it. And um, they had these basically build your own characters. So they had tons of little minifigure parts that you could dig through and make little figures. So my kids made some. And then when we got home, my oldest was like, I want to super glue it together so that my younger brother can't take it apart. So once you have that row around, flip over the bottom four all the way around. I was like, all right, I guess. So, of course, he's not the handiest with um, fine detail work. So, kind of got super glue over everything. So I'm trying to clean that up, and then of course my other son's like, well, I want mine super glued together too, so he can't take mine apart. So I'm sitting there gluing Legos together. All I could think of was a Lego movie and. I'm not going to have to take these all, or use paint thinner to take these all apart again, am I? So, so like that. So we're going to reduce again. Same exact way, day, way we did before with the four pins, um, grabbing the bottom band, pulling it over, and then flipping the bottom two. So in through the top two, grab the bottom two, pull them back, release that, and then flip the bottom two. And the same thing down here. Like that. Flip that. And then flip the bottom too. And the same thing on the other side. So hopefully I don't have to take them all back apart later. Like that. And don't forget to flip your bottom two. So again, there should be four bands on every pin around. So we'll do another row around. Two bands, like before. Haha, I stretched out my chocolate chips just enough. Something like that. And flip the bottom four all the way around. We're a big Lego family. I love Legos. They're awesome. I still have like all the Legos I had from when I was a kid. Now my kids have them. They like building the cities and houses and it's crazy. I like that. So now we're done and we want to close this um, but we are going to close it by kind of the braiding effect because we want it to stay flatter. Whereas if we gathered them all up on our hook and pulled the band through, it would pop out the bottom. So how we do that. So I'm going to take my hook, stick it in through the bands on the right side, pull them off the pin. I'm going to come over to the left side, grab those bands, pull them off the pin, and then the bands near my hook are going to come through the bands over here by my finger. So just take your time because there are four bands so it's a lot to kind of maneuver but just go slow. So now that I've gotten the ones off the left pin I'm going to cross back over, grab the ones on the right pin, pull them through, and then go back to the left, pull those through, 
and then to the right. Pull those through. It would help if I had them off the pin first. No, you don't. Back on there. And then stick your hook through the last ones. And you don't have to pull these through each other. You just take a band or two, pull them through what's left on your hook. Do your slip knot. Like that. Then I'll hide this. So stick my hook up through. Grab the bands, pull them inside. And I kind of do it till the knot little portion disappears. So now, get the cat hair out. So now what we need to do is, you know how we have it on the loom? The bands are stretched here, but then there's the long stretch across here. That tends to tighten up the sides of the cookie, so it kind of gives it a um, different, they're not the round shape that we want. So what we do is we go in, if you squish the side, you'll find the center bands, get those a tug out, all the way along the side of your cookie. Then you're also going to want to tug on the bands that are to the either side of the center bands, because those also get a different tension from doing the because of that band in the center being pulled farther. Just kind of go around the outside. This is where you'll find if you have any of those um, reducing bands that are kind of poking out, you can pull those back in. Is that cat here again? So just go around the outside. I'll do finish this up real quick. So, like that. Nice rounded shape. Um, you may also have to come down to that bottom where we did the braiding and reduce, or not reduce, but pull on some of those as well if you have any, if it looks kind of funny down there. Um, definitely want everybody to be happy with these little cuties because I think they are so adorable. So like that. And then the other, the last thing that you may need to check besides the sides, the bottom, is of course the top where we have those cap bands um, because we don't want to make them any tighter because otherwise it looks goofy, um, but leaving them kind of loose as they are, sometimes they'll poke out a little bit more, so you could just kind of stick your hook up through, grab a hold of them, and pull them back inside a little bit. But usually they don't look too bad unless you hooked them when you're doing your looming. But oh, I think they're super cute. I love them. Seriously. I hope that you enjoy them as well. I'm going to make a ton of these. I swear, they're so cute. So, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy these cuties and that um, you can make lots of them because they are um, not band heavy, I think, considering some of my other happy foods. So that's always a bonus and being adorable is awesome too. So, but if you make any of these, I definitely would like to see them on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook page, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. They both should find me. And then, of course, if you would be so kind as to subscribe to my channel, that would be fabulous. So you know when I come out with new things, don't forget to show me your cookies. But thank you guys very much for watching, and I will have more for you soon.